Hi, I'm here at the Farnborough Air Show. I'm standing under a P-8 with Tim Floods with Boeing. Tim, can you give me a quick overview of this aircraft, um, where things stand in the program, and what you're trying to get out of the air show? Okay, yeah, well, thanks, Brian. So, first of all, it's great to be here at Farnborough again, standing in front of a P-8 from the U.S. Navy uh, Squadron VP-47 out of Whidbey. Uh, this is a fantastic program for the Boeing Company. Very proud of uh, the fact that we have managed to deliver all of our aircraft on or ahead of schedule. And we have a really bright future with, uh, with, uh, with, with quite strong demand moving forward. So as it stands, we just delivered our 150th aircraft. Uh, we've delivered 112 to the US Navy. We've delivered 12 to India, uh, 12 to Australia, nine to the UK, and just recently the fifth and last aircraft to Norway. And then looking into the future, we're delivering our first aircraft to New Zealand this year. Next year, we'll start delivering to, that's the first of four, Next year, we'll start delivering to Korea as the first of six aircraft. And then in 2024, we'll start delivering the first of five to, to Germany. Beyond that, we're seeing really strong demand around the region as countries start to see the uh, emerging and persistent ASW threats. It's putting more and more of a focus on the need for maritime domain awareness and ASW capabilities which is why we're starting to see an uptick in, uh, in demand for the aircraft. And I understand Boeing had developed a new pod for the PA that you're shipping. What, what is the target for this, this market? What is the pod capable of? And have you, have you had a large customer yet? Uh, yeah, right, so the P-8 itself was a uh, you know, fantastic aircraft in terms of its multi-mission capability, but what we did is develop a multi-mission pod which uh, fits under the center line of the aircraft. It's a 20-foot 20 20 uh, pod that is basically customizable for each user. And the purpose of the pod was to allow uh, countries to explore uh, any unique sensor they wanted to put on just to expand the versatility of the, of the aircraft. So it would be entirely uh, user dependent on what they wanted to put in and it could be whatever the indigenous requirements were of each nation. And as far as our launch customer, uh, we, we've developed it and uh, we're still marketing the capability and we're looking for um, a launch cap customer uh, down track. All right. Well, Tim, thanks so much for your time. Sure. All right. Thanks. <laughs>